Thank you. Wow. <laughs> well, first of all, sorry about my poor English. My first language is Portuguese, of course. And I try to speak in English. So possibly I made mistakes. Possibly I made myself confused. But uh, I push myself to to express my in my way just because the way that I live, the way that I cook, it's plan of emotion. And I must to express myself in words, even if the words is not right. Sorry, <laughs> but I'll try. Uh, uh, the, the, the main thing is we are going to talk about incense and plants together for life. And this yesterday and today, we see men speakers. And everybody touch at this point as a research. Nobody has talked about uh, insects as one ingredient. And I must just say, this is not easy. Why? In gastronomy or in the human history alimentation, insects is only a search, uh, a, res a search of protein. It's something, it is, it is something scary. Something <laughs> Awful. And it's not easy to convince someone to taste a small ant like this. <laughs> or like this. Okay. Once again, eat insects. It's scary. <laughs> Eating insects might be awful. Eating insects can be primitive. The balance, our psychological and cultural interpretation about eat insects is it. But we got few exceptions. For example, in Mexico, they got a uh, egg, uh, ant egg, and they call it escamoles. It's, it's amazing. There's honey. Everybody knows honey. And looks like uh, sweet not for our taste but our mind even if uh, we imagine that honey is an instrument of insects uh, it is a psychological interpretation eating insects insects can be as primitive as open your figure take a strawberry yogurt and give to our son just because the color of the, the strawberry yogurt came from cochinilla, an uh, insect who came mm -hmm. from the nature. So <laughs> this is a way to interpret, interpret the, the insects and plants. This is two things that I would like to, to show, and we are going to taste, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, it is a kind of Brazilian... Brazilian Amazonic and call it saúva. The taste looks like lemongrass, ginger. For us, for natives in there, well, this kind of flavors didn't exist in Amazonas. So a native from Amazonas, when they taste ginger and lemongrass, they think, oh, taste like a ant. <laughs> this is something that we must, <laughs> we must realize. This is cultural interpretation. <laughs> we are going to taste it. Uh, uh, <coughs> another way to think about uh, cultural interpretation. I learned this with Andoni. So, Andoni, thank you once again. I learned a lot with you. And I try to repeat your beautiful world. Uh, my reaction, it's something very human. Uh, uh, the cross line between nature and culture, it's the domestication of the fire. And one of the first steps of human alimentation is put something on the fire. And science explained this. This is called Meyer reaction. My reaction is a very important key of flavor for human beings. Even vegetarians, when felt a uh, 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 smell from barbecue, felt hungry, wants to eat. So 
I propose to everybody now to make a mental trip to Nepal. And we go past 15 days eating vegetables, praying, made in medita meditation, and after 15 days, we became calm and harmonic. But life must go on. So we, we, we start uh, our, our way back. During this way back, we felt this beautiful smell of barbecue. So we are human beings, we are not perfect. So let's eat a, a, a piece of barbecue. When we arrive on the barbecue or the fireplace, what is happening there is not a barbecue. It's a cultural phenomenon or cultural ritual from Nepalese people. It's a burning, a daddy body. My reaction means temperature, fat, and protein. I got a son, I got three sons, but one completely 17, two days ago. And he, uh, he, he's a sport, uh, he, he loves the sport. And of course, as a Brazilian guy, loves play soccer. Uh, sometimes he arrives at home and take out the shoes and the shoes smells exactly the cheese that I work in the restaurant. <laughs> 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 Cultural interpretation, it's something that we must realize. Sometimes to understand better a flavor, we must to put ourselves far from our psychological or our, our cultural interpretation. This is Brazilian beef I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. Psychological interpretation. My reaction. Why eat insects? There is... We knew about sustainability. We know very well about it. About it. We know about conservation. We know about preservation. Which difference between preservation and conservation. That's I learned with the natives in Amazonas. They got a very simple language, very few words to explain complicated things. And they got this difference. For them, conservation is protecting. Preservation is give, use. And When you give, use can be innova innovative, can be innovation. What, what can be innovation? Innovation is creativity, is more yeah. utility. Yeah. If you did use, okay. there is no reason to, is to, to yeah. keep oh, doing it. <laughs> using he's, he's Amazonic coming. ingredients, using in organizing he's on, he's on the native peoples in there, we are not only protecting, we are preserving. Why? When, when we talk about natural preservation, it's clear that we must to preserve the sea, the rivers, the forests, but uh, there's something natural on it. And sometimes us, human beings, forgot something very important. is the human being who lives inside or beside the sea. The, the river and the forest. So it's very important to conserve it, uh, preserve all the nature with the people who live inside. I'm gonna, I gonna ask to the, to the guys to start to serve something. It, it, it is tapioca with a kind of honey that we have in Brazil from Brazilian bees, Bra Brazilian honey bees, and they are different. Chabai. First of all, it is not uh, uh, th this kind of bees, honey bees, didn't didn't have a sting, didn't bite us, so it's 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 a friendly bee. Whoops, sorry. <coughs> the funny things and the cultural important things on these bees is under Brazilian laws, this is not a honey. Because why? Because our sometimes when people make laws about secu alimentary security, they didn't know nothing about 
food. So you have been colonized by Portugal. And someone decided that honey, it's only for European beans, bees. So Brazilian bees doesn't are able to produce it honey. <laughs> Funny things. They are, they are, they are very friendly. And the, 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 um, the honey is com the flavor is completely different. I'm going to use this. Hello there. It's a tapioca. When you can take in one. When this is How tapioca. Cooked tapioca. It's marinated only with this. And this is a, a, a oh, pollen. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a kind of propolis that Brazilian bees Beautiful. produce. Go in and, sit. and you're going to see it's very strong acid. for the guys. And uh, Alex a, a, a light flavor hey, from chef. olives. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. There's a little bit of salt of salicorn. Thing, huh? Yeah, were you here yesterday? No, well, no. I had to work. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are organizing in Brazil a few cool. natives to produce it, this. We are trying to push the, 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 the government to recognize this as a honey. This is very important. This, this is gave use for something that we are losing each day in my country, unfortunately. But uh, we're still pushing guys to, to I'm gonna I'm gonna start to cooking. And natives are very simple. Natives are are sometimes used to to suppose that they are not very very smart, very intelligent. But we must recognize it that they know a lot about lots of things. One of the biggest problems in Amazonas is conservation. Uh, there is, how can I say, heritage and heritage who, 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 who mother teach uh, sons and teach grandsons and, 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 and the, the, there's lots of, uh, one, one of the, the, the traditional things, it's this kind of uh, vinegar. This one we made with a, with a, with a sugar cane. In, in, in Amazonas they used to, to make with a few sweet fruits. The mean, I, I'm gonna pass to every, everybody, taste it. It's a natural vinegar and there is no starter with us to, to, to prepare this, this vinegar. So how they prepare this vinegar? They press from sugar cane and take the juice and left a spontaneous fermentation. Each day came a kind of uh, mousse, a kind of fun on top and they take out. After five weeks, we got this kind of vinegar. I'm gonna sip here. Um pequeno pote. The mommy is really fantastic. She's got some really important, yeah. amazing things to say. Did you Maria? If someone wants want to smell and taste, it is a vinegar, so as strong as a, a vinegar. I take the, 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 the vinegar, I'm gonna mix it, this honey, and I made a kind of vinaigrette, very simple vinaigrette. Sometimes, in Dom, we used to work a lot of new flavors, flavors that even Brazilians didn't know, never tasted before. So how will we apply this? We always try to put in a very comfortable way, a, a way to, to our cultural and psychological interpretation came easy to recognize it. Uh, uh, I'm going to start the, the, the vinegar. The, the it's about no, but I'm just going to do it when we finish our lunch. Do you want me to say it now? Let's taste. Beautiful. I'm going to put a few. I don't, I don't mean to do it now, but I mean just to, to alert people. Oyster leaves. start to dressing my dish.
for your clinic at the fish skin. Work with the, the fish. One of, one of the, the, the most uh, important things that we are doing in, in, in Brazil is trying to use all ingredients. We have a problem in these days. Gave food for seven million, seven billions of human beings is a huge pressure. There is few people who suppose that after 19 million, 20, uh, 10 million, world can be can start to a collapsing because of we didn't produce food for everybody. There's other people who believe that in these days. Nowadays, we produce food for 20 billion of human beings. Why this difference? Just because we spend, we put out lots of, uh, 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 of good stuff. We can use it better the ingredients, even the internal parts of fish we, use, we didn't use a lot in Brazil, and also the fish skin. So, what I Gonna do it's fry the fish skin. With the scales. Just three pieces. Will be enough. You can fry this for me. And we are, we are, we are going to make a, a kind of a crunch fish skin with the scales. And the crunchness, it's, it, it, it's, it, it, it is important from, from, from this recipe. I got a few baked, baked onions. And I'm going to put... This recipe is just a, a, a how can I say? It? It's an improvisation. This is fennel flowers. And we got a very simple salad. I would like to ask you the guys if they can pass the, 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 the gelatin. I have prepared a gelatin with, a, with one ant inside. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How I said, I, I showed before, there is lots of different types of ants in Brazil. This one is the most common, and lots of uh, people in Brazil, even out of Brazil, Peru and, and Ecuador and, and Venezuela used to eat this. And it's funny. Funny not means good. We have another type. I've had them. This one. And this is very rich, but far to be good. And we got this type. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm. And this is, can surprise you. The gelatin is just a holder. I mean, it, it, there's no flavor inside the gelatin. All the flavors that you are going to taste, it's from this no small way. ant. Wow. Uh, do not eat the, the paper, please. <laughs> I'm not Heston. <laughs> <laughs> I love Heston, but... Uh <laughs> <laughs> Someone has tasted. So, Alex, tell me. 
all the flavor is only in the end. It's only the end. Do you, haven't, you haven't added anything to no, it? No, 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 no. Even I didn't cook it. So this end came raw from Amazonas until here. Wow. So if you imagine black truffles, and sometimes when it tastes black truffles, the beautiful, the beautiful flavor is one thing I didn't compare. But sometimes when it, we eat white truffles, we imagine that there's a piece of Alba. It's a piece of north of it's Italy in my mouth. Boys. You can feel exactly the same thing. You got a feeling or a, you got a piece yeah. of Amazonas in your mouth. I bring this from directly from, from, from up north. <laughs> <laughs> boy, listen, boy, listen. Once again, why eat insects? Because it can be a source of protein. Where's that? because we can preserve natural or natives in Amazonas. We can eat just because it's fun. We can eat just because few types can be surprised. And surprise is also Where an important key. Nowadays, okay, we have okay, been no. looking the kitchen cool. evaluation. So let's imagine what, what, what was the first important cultural movement for gastronomy. I mean navigations. When Europe sent boats from all the entire world and discover America and discover China and discover India and bring few ingredients from Europe and bring for us another ingredients. So this is the first very important moment for gastronomy. Second important uh, step from gastronomy, okay. Okay. when Scoffier or Cahen organized the gastronomy. What I mean but gastronomy? To be here now. In a literal way, one thing for us chefs, he knows he's been really fine dining, to high level there. of kitchen. What I mean this, gastronomy for my opinion is not make ex expensive food. Gastronomy is put uh, one ingredient or one recipe in their best moment. 30 step, Nouvelle Cuisine. When the creativity and the maybe artistic expression touch the chefs. What, what, what I want to mean with this, is start to be easy to recognize a chef, not for one dish, but for his complete work. So, if uh, I put 36 points around one dish, we remind Cobuchon. If I use a siphon, it's, 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 it is, it is easy, becomes easy to recognize. Four step and the most important, Spanish guys. Spanish re represented a, a, a liberty for us a way to express for us out of uh, Europe something unbelievable. For the first time in our lives, we start to look at our ingredients, our culture as something good. During, I made my formation in, in Europe and I learned to cook and, and thanks God I got this opportunity. But uh, I'm, when, when I'm also learning to cook, I must always imagine I'm not able to do French kitchen as good as a French chef. Italian food as good as an Italian chef. Why? Because I didn't know the flavors. It's not in my, in, in, my, in my memory. And that day I realized I must go back to Brazil. I must show the people the flavors that I know since I was a kid. Just because first time then I taste caviar I didn't like it. First time when I taste foie gras, I didn't like it. First time when I 
taste truffles, I didn't like. When I was a kid, first time when I, when I taste wine, alcohols, chilies, uh, I didn't like mm. flavor, paladar. It's something that, that, that we developed. And I realized that I must to do something about my country and try to show to everybody new flavors. If you look the world map, there is a part of this world who is untouchable. And this part, it's Amazonas. Amazonas is not Brazil. Amazonas, it's, it's divided by six countries. Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, um, Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador. We all have Amazonas. But Amazonas is not one thing. There's lots of Amazonas inside. So, in my opinion, what South American can bring for the next years from the kitchen, it's a lot. Why? Because cosmetic industry and pharmacology make a lot and lots and spend billions doing research on it. Us chefs, us Brazilian, us South American, we are just starting. So yesterday I'm, I'm, I'm was talking with Miles and, and Miles the furniture. <laughs> Uh, and talking about the, the foraging in Amazonas. It is completely different than foraging here. Here you find everything, mushrooms, berries, herbs, one beside the others. In Amazonas, a fruit can be 40 meters. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the ground. Uh, one berry, we didn't have berry, but uh, it, is, it is not easy. We, we spend much more energy on it. We spend much more, but, uh, but uh, only to give to you one example. In a Brazilian border between uh, 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 Venezuela and Colombia, there is an area that we call dog's head, because the, on the map looks like a, 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 a head dog. And in that area, we got 23 different ethnies, 21 different languages, native languages. In just in there, uh, we are working together with anthropologists in there, and we have uh, one supposition that these guys, these Indians, these natives, got domesticated 300 new vegetable spe species to eat, and biggest part are didn't recognize it by science. Yeah. So there's, we are, we are, we are kids. We are, we, are, we are babies, we are, we, are, we are learning to get walking. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. There is a world to discover. And in my opinion, uh, uh, this is not only my, my business. What I must do is try to show to you and you maybe inspire new Brazilians, new South Americas, and year after year, maybe we can share the richness of Amazonas. Uh, uh, uh. I must show, to say just a few words more. I have been few Congress in, I have been quite it's often goes, in, in Congress. It's always a new emotion. But uh, last uh, maybe five or seven years, what I see here, I never see before. Just because uh, maybe I was the only single chef who made something on, the, on direct. And nobody cares. <laughs> this Congress some brings something new. In my opinion, it is not reflection. We are not talking about intelligence. We are talking about a concept called citizen concept. Uh, what I mean, citizen concept? The individual attitude in, fav in favor of collective. Something that I can do not for myself, but for ourselves. So, thank you everybody. And last of all, 
René, and all Noma stuff. You are fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my dish, just put a few ants <laughs> and reminds you <laughs> plants and insects alive together. Oh, that was <laughs> I have a few questions. I'm sorry to break in like this because I think it's very interesting the way that you're talking about being on the verge of discovering uh, South America, an Amazonian cuisine. So the question is, how does it become an Amazonian cuisine? Because I think this is the question that we all ask ourselves as chef. How do we get a cuisine to become our cuisine? What is it? What is it? Is it enough just to use the ingredients? How does it actually get there? What are you doing in order for you to make a plate of food that belongs to you? That, that represents your place, and when people dine there, they think only here. Honey, first of all, proud to be, I'm proud to be Brazilian, as you, as proud to be Danish, Nordic. This, this, this is the first key. Second step, and maybe Gaston Acurio do this better than me. Show to everybody that kitchen can be a very important source or support for social, in the social level and the environmental level. So it's just to once again change our cultural vision about food and ourselves. But how, 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 but still, you know, I mean, for instance, here. In many places around the world, we do not have a, a particular fine dining concept. Uh, we eat a plate of food. We are, we are Protestants. Uh, we sit in silence. Um, and we eat a, a big bowl of meat uh, with potatoes. And, um, and then once you've done that, life continues again. Uh, the connectivity in food, the, the, it's a whole new concept for us, kind of figuring out, well, how, what is the flavors, other than the peasant, rustic, survival flavors? How is something refined? How do we bring it up to a new level? Wh what are you thinking there? What is, uh, how do you take these ants? Wh what is it that, that you're trying to do? I mean, yeah, I, no, 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 people no. ask me this, I can't even answer it myself, <laughs> so now I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very complex, no, no, no. right? In the kitchen, I, I, I put one, 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 well, this is, I, I, I forgot to talk about this. This is called Oroboro. This came from, from Greece, from, from Oroboro, that's, that's, that's the image. Okay. Uh, it is the, 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 the snake who bites the tail and means infinite, means never ends to learn. We never know which is the beginning and which is the end. In the kitchen, we have passing this. Sometimes, as a chef, we knew something that we didn't knew that we know what we knew. Uh, uh, I mean, sometimes we, we, are, we are very, very spontaneous. And be spontaneous is not being inventive. Spontane spontaneity became from came from from our experience that we have before, and maybe this is the, the this is can be the, the, the answer. And sometimes I do things, and I in the moment I I, I can't explain. It's something I must di digest, and and then few days, few time after. I can explain. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is something that I believe, and I do because just because I believe. I, uh, I didn't, I didn't 
Res I, I, don't know I understand what you're saying because that's also my <laughs> answer as well. When people ask me, I always say, look, I don't know. I have to uh, spend 10 more years and then look back at it. Yeah. Maybe I can answer you then. No, well, thank you for setting a fire in the Brazilian and Amazonian uh, thank cuisine. You. Huh? Thank you. 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 Thank you.